We were the uh, typical Orange County family, raising three beautiful girls. We did a lot of ski trips, a lot of travel. Haley was doing horseback riding, soccer. Haley wasn't feeling well prior to a really big horse show that we were going out in uh, Palm Desert in February of 2009. And she was peeing a lot and really thirsty, and we didn't know what that meant. It was just strange. So we called her pediatrician, and they tested her blood sugar, and it seemed a little high. We met with Dr. Wang, and he did some tests and left the room and came back, sat us down, and told us that Haley has type 1 diabetes. Um, we all broke out crying in tears uh, because we were scared. We didn't know exactly what this meant. We kept asking, are you sure? Are you sure she has type 1? And he said yes. She was admitted to Children's Hospital of Orange County. Over the next few days in the hospital, we sat, we listened, and we learned about all the things we needed to know about type 1 diabetes. The highs, the lows, and the everyday challenges of counting carbs. I remember looking at Haley when the nurses were giving her a shot, and they began to teach us. And we were the type of people who, at the sight of a needle, would pass out. But we didn't. And we learned how to give shots, and we supported her even though we were scared. And I remember peeking my head around a curtain and just looking at them, giving it to it, and taking a deep breath, going, I know we can do this, I know we can do this. Uh, we began to teach Haley's sisters how to treat a low blood sugar situation, and they were ready to help by running to get a juice box or a package of Skittles when needed. The early part of the diagnosis was really tough. We relied on and were supported by our family, close friends, and doctors. It was very difficult for us to learn of Haley's diagnosis and to see firsthand what she and her family have gone through on a daily basis in dealing with her disease over the last five years. Of course, we immediately thought of our own children and what if one of them had been diagnosed with diabetes. Our hearts went out for our friends and we wanted to help them in any way we could as we learned about how to fight this disease together. It is really because of our close friendship with Tom and Laura that we got involved with JDRF. Our passion to support JDRF grew through the Giddings experience with Haley's diagnosis. And over the last few years, our involvement has grown. We have recognized that JDRF not only has a vision of a cure, but a solid plan to get there. We're thrilled to be honored this year, along with the Giddings family. We're committed to work hard to raise the funds to find a cure. We hope our contributions enable JDRF to further their mission to progressively remove the impact of type 1 diabetes from people's lives until it's no longer a threat to anyone, including Haley. Haley's doing really well. Um, she's a junior in high school and continues to ride horses competitively. In fact, Haley's in Peru right now on a mission trip with her school, and she's in a remote part of Peru and is wearing her Dexcom sensor to help monitor her blood sugar levels. We got a call late yesterday afternoon as she needed some help. She was really worried because her numbers kept dropping. Her diabetes continues to be a challenge for her every day, aside from the normal teenage things that they go through. She has a double challenge with having diabetes. As a dad, I'm worried about lots of different things with a uh, teenage daughter, you know, high school parties, and turning 17, going off to college. There's a lot going on in uh, Haley's life right now, and. Uh, it's a very exciting time, but it's also very, very stressful for the family. I worry about her whenever she goes out in the evening with any of her friends, as we want to make sure that she's constantly uh, monitoring her blood sugars. Unlike walking into some of my other daughter's bedrooms, I always worry when I open the door to Haley's bedroom, because I've heard these horror stories about kids dying in the middle of the night from a low blood sugar or a seizure, and it just, it worries me. The mornings that I have to go in and wake her up sometimes on the weekends, I worry until I can feel her and shake her and say, are you up, are you up? Um, which kind of, I don't have those other worries with my other kids. And for her, it's just, I'm extra sensitive to that and always hoping that she'll say, yes, mom, I'm up, because I don't want to walk into the room and have no response. I worry about Haley's driving, uh, uh, especially with this disease, because uh, you never know exactly what might happen to her, especially if she's alone. Life continues to be a challenge on a day-to-day -day basis. While we think we're the normal family, when we take walks, we have to stop, and all of a sudden, Haley's blood sugar will be dropping out of nowhere. So we sit down, we have a juice box, we'll have Skittles. Her sisters are always there, um, prepared and ready to help her. So things aren't normal, but we're trying to make them as normal as possible. Her diabetes continues to be a challenge for her every day, but with the help of JDRF and new technology on the horizon, it will be easier for Haley to control her disease. Our family has always believed in the importance of giving back to the community. Raising our children in Orange County, we are most proud to contribute to those organizations whose service and work directly affects our local community. Whether it's supporting children's health issues, 
environmental causes or the arts. We hope to pass down and instill the same spirit of giving in our kids when they directly see the impact these charities have at a local level. On behalf of myself and all the kids struggling with type 1 diabetes, please raise your paddles tonight and help fund a cure.